During an implementation from Western Computer, we will take you through the entire process of manufacturing in Dynamics 365 Business Central, from quote to order to build and ship. Let's demonstrate this process from end to end so you can see the capabilities of the system. First, I need to create a quote to my customer. So I'm going to simply create a quote here from the home page, and I'm going to search for my customer. So I just start typing their name and the matches show up and I select the Canon group. Then next I'm gonna add the items to the order that I wanna sell them. In this case, I'm going to put a custom bicycle on here, one that we're going to manufacture for them. So I choose my bicycle and then I choose the quantity. In this case, they're gonna go with three of them. The next thing I'm gonna do is send this quote by email to my customer. I simply click on send by email at the top of the screen. And Business Central brings up a screen where I can edit the email. It also attaches the quote as a PDF where the customer can see more detail on the quote. The next step would be the customer to receive this email. They will reply, we will see their reply in Outlook, and then we can launch this quote again and turn it into an order. So the next step I'm gonna do is make an order from this quote. So I'm gonna click on make order, and it's going to convert the quote to an order and bring that order up for me. So now I have an order, and from here I can turn this into a production order for manufacturing. So I'm gonna click on actions and planning and create work order. When I create an order for manufacturing, I get options of firm planned, planned, or released. In this case, I'm gonna take it straight to released. So it'll be available to start entering data on the shop floor. So now that work order has been created. And as a next step, I can pull up the work order and work on it. Now you can centralize planning through a manufacturing role center, but in this case, we're going to launch the work order directly from the sales order. This is also a great way for someone in sales or customer service to see the status of an order in process. They can drill into the manufacturing status directly from the sales order. I'm gonna click on show this order. And now Business Central is gonna show me the production order for this item. Notice it has a starting date and time and ending date and time. This is saying we need to start at 9.35 in the morning in order to be done by 4 p.m. to make three of these items. I can also drill down into the production journal, which is gonna show us the components and the routing steps that are required for this order to be completed. So you can see all the components that we're gonna consume as well as the different labor steps where we may want to enter time. Note this information can also be entered through different shop floor interfaces or different journals on the shop floor or even scanned with a barcode scanner. This shows us all on one screen from the production order, the components and the steps that are required. So I would enter in time here. For example, I can put in that we spend 30 minutes on this step and then close that and close the production journal. When I'm finished, I will post the production journal and that would complete the process of manufacturing this item within the system. As a last step, I'm gonna go back to my sales order. And now that I've completed the production, the last thing I need to do is go to my home here and post this order, which means send the invoice. Post and send will give me different options for how I wanna send this to the customer. Of course, I could save it to PDF. I could also print it, or I can choose different ways that I want to email this to the customer. My options are PDF or an electronic document or PDF and electronic document, many different options there for how I wanna send this. And this is all defaulted at the customer level. So I'm gonna simply send this off to the customer and that completes our process of quoting, building, shipping, and invoicing in Business Central.